coming to you live from our Hoppington Center in Durban, Senior Correspondent Fred Guttrell. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I am Fred Guttrell, and welcome to another episode of the Hoppington Post. In this week's episode, we join Frog Lady on her quest to find South Africa's rarest frog, the Amatol Toad. Yeah, that's right. You see, we toads are special. Now, you know how they say that a dog is a man's best friend? Well, it seems like Frog Lady, again with those guys from Northwest University, are trying to make a dog a frog's best friend. Yes, the use of sniffer dogs in conservation to track down elusive characters is on the increase. So let's go see what the team and Jesse, the frog-finding border collie, got up to. Van Dyke Ophrynus, Amatulicus, or Amatul Toad, for those of you who cannot understand Greek, Latin, or whatever that is, was discovered in 1925 and has only been recorded 25 times since then. After a near 13 year absence, it was rediscovered in 2011 near Hogs Bag in the Eastern Cape. Hey, wait, isn't that near Fort Hare? That's where they say the greatest African leader went to university, someone called Nelson Roy Tlakla Mandela. Hmm, even that name sounds important, but that's for another episode. Research on the Amatol toad has become a focal point for the Endangered Wildlife Trust, who are working with farmers and forestry companies in the area to conserve and manage probable sites of their habitat. There you see, farming industry and conservation can work together. Active searching over the last five years has turned up only seven adult individuals, which not surprisingly means that the Amatol toad is listed as critically endangered on the IUCN red list, especially because of its limited distribution and the loss of its original grassland habitats. On this trip, Jesse, with her handler Este Matthew, surveyed the area while the rest of the team searched under rocks, logs and various streams in the area. Hey wait! What's that? Nah, Jesse, just a river frog. After three days of searching and amidst much excitement, they turned up a small lumpy toad crossing a path. Unfortunately, it was not the Amatol toad, but rather the Karoo toad. It shares many of its features, but differs in its ventral and dorsal markings. Although they did not find the Amatol toad on this trip, Dr. Jean Tarrant is extremely optimistic of greater success in the future as Jesse becomes more conditioned to the scent, as well as additional observational methods such as the installation of song meters. All of this thanks to funding from the Amphibian Survival Alliance Seed Grant. Welcome back. Wow, what a cool color on the border, Collie. Thank you for watching the Hoppington Post, the show that's saving the world one frog at a time. I am Fred Guttrell. Please be advised, no humans or border collies were harmed during the recording of this episode.